It's a phenomenal feeling. It's, uh, you can't even describe it. There was more to it than just the being a shadow of the moon. It's just one of those experiences that I think once you get it once, it kind of becomes a little addicting and you just want to experience it as much as you can. <laughs> that was probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. Like even if they didn't do anything cool ever again, that's probably fine. When I read about this, I thought we had to be in the path of totality to see the full eclipse. Strong winds and heavy snow on the way with some parts of our region getting more than a foot. Just when he thought spring was here, crews are getting ready for this storm. Trees down and there's a lot of outages, especially right along the spine of the Green Mountains. And now the eclipse is shaping up to follow this high impact storm today. We did end up with 10, 20, some places 30 inches of snow, but it was also very nicely timed. Sunday, the sun comes out much better, and Monday is the best day in the forecast, and it's eclipse day, and we might have the best weather in the country. That means maximum attendance possible. The great American eclipse is making its way to Vermont. This once in a lifetime event that won't show up here in Burlington for almost another 400 years. It's wonderful here in St. Johnsbury. The streets, main streets are shut down and people are roaming back and forth. People started pitching their lawn chairs as early as 7 a.m. today and people seem to mostly be having a great time. It's looking good, Lauren. It's feeling good. The sun is so warm, especially with the light. What is it like in St. Albans? It's very energetic. Thousands of people have changed their plans last minute and decided to come to Vermont to see the eclipse. We're from Basking Ridge, New Jersey. It took us about five hours to get here. Left three o'clock this morning. My wife started this like seven years ago and uh, she decided that we were gonna take the day off and just come up here. It took us nine hours to get here because we blew a brake line, had to get a tow down to Manchester, rent a car and drive back up here. Oh, uh, we come from Boston. Uh, Wakefield, Mass. Lakeland, Florida. Concord, California. Seattle, Washington. We're from Barrie. We traveled all the way from Barrie to Montpelier to come and see this. Well, on the way up, it reminded me of the Fish concert. It was a slow trip up, slowest trip I've ever made from Bradford to St. Johnsbury. I'm sure there'll be a lot of quiet and... And excitement. And excitement, but a feeling that we're just a very small speck in the cosmos. We're expecting to be another one of those days where we just sit together, look up at the sky, and just feel this moment of wonder and amazement at all there is up above and beyond. Well, it's pretty amazing because so many people are coming here from elsewhere. So it's pretty cool that we're really the center of attention and also that there's so much interest in something scientific. We'd love to know from you in the crowd and anywhere that you're viewing the eclipse, what does it feel like for you? What are you doing? What's it happening in your community today? Oh my God. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, look at, oh my God. We're going to go and drive and see the solar eclipse. Yeah. An engagement during a total solar eclipse. here to enjoy and be childish and enjoy the stars, so let's, let's enjoy throwing a yo-yo around, you know? Maybe I can, oh, I let it sleep for two seconds. Nice, we're doing good. <laughs> the sun is over there! <laughs> it, it seems like someone took a bite out of the moon. I'm super excited, because I heard we were gonna see the stars and stuff, so I, I'm a true star. Uh, astronomer. It's amazing. I'm waiting for it when it goes completely dark. We got the glasses, and they said you can see just a little ring around it. For those few minutes that there's totality of darkness, yeah. everything is going to change. I wanted to see it. I want. I want the memories. I want my daughter to have the memories. That's what I find important. It's a great moment to experience with my son. You know, he was supposed to be at school, I was supposed to be at the office, but I had to come. I'm a lawyer in Boston. 
I put everybody on hold. Don't call me. I'll be back tomorrow. We have about 30 seconds to totality in St. Johnsbury. Those prominences sticking out at the bottom were amazing. The diamond ring was absolutely brilliant. Could see the corona, could see Jupiter and Venus. That yeah, was pretty good. One of our like first adventures and hopefully more to come. I will never forget it. It was eerie, you know, I was waiting for the strange sounds to, you know, start happening from whatever ethereal spirits were escaping from some realm. Words can't capture it. Photographs don't capture it. There is something, a full sensory experience. And uh, even those of us that are not given to spirituality, I think we're, we're blown away for a good few minutes there. It was like a nice, nice afternoon. Everyone was happy. We kind of needed this, I think. This move is called the Michaela Lefrac. The frequency. We just experienced the eclipse and then he proposed to me. He's the love of my life. What an experience. We'll be doing this again wherever it is. Now when's the next one, Brian? <laughs> <laughs>